Hi, this movie is about uh, icons that do not follow the theme. Well, I'm starting first thing today, and what do I see? Everything just looks fine, so no problem here. Whoa, what was that? Something blue popped up there. There's my problem. So, when you install applications, some of those applications do not follow the rule. So this is a Sardi Mono look, as you can see, it really stands out and it breaks your theme. First let's analyze it, then let's fix it. So I have a program that does not follow the theme. You go to user share applications and what you see, everything is circular, everything is mono, but then here it is, theme viewer 11. Just click on it, then right mouse click it and open it with I advise you to use Sublime Text as it can also change and write things on the protected parts. What am I going to change? Well, if you open it, this is what I mean with a hard coded element. So it's going to a directory, opt, team viewer, tv bin, desktop, and it's going to get this icon, team viewer png. So it's the thing we're looking at. What was it here? This icon is coming from a part, but it's not a SATI icon. So it's a part of your hard disk that is somewhere on the op drive. So if you go to the file system, you'll have an op drive and it's, it's coming from here. Fine, but not fine. So how to fix this? We can fix it manually, which I don't like because a lot of work, but we could. And that's simply by deleting all these lines team viewer deleted too much like so no extensions and then linux will know oh okay i have to figure out if there is a team viewer icon and yes sardi icons do have a team viewer icon so that will work but if there are five six seven eight icons that are not working then it's more interesting to do it another way then it's more interesting to go to the ultimate Linux Mint 18x FCE and we have this small code, hard code fixer version 1. It's easier and let's hope it works. It depends on whether uh, it has been reported on the Fogalong website. Uh, but then if it's reported, it just works out of the box. So let's try it. Hard code fixer version 1. We run it. He's going to clone the code from internet. He's going to ask to install curl. If that was installed, he's going on. And he wants to go to the protected part where we are, where we were. So let's go and go back. So this blue one is the one we have to keep in mind. I'm gonna say, this is my password. Not sure if I typed it already. Yeah, I did. So enter the blue one. Let's keep track of it. There you go, fixing TeamViewer. So, no work to be done manually. And what did happen? Well, the same that what we wanted to do. We wanted to name it TeamViewer. Well, so that's what happened. He is now looking at the icons of the thing you chose. So whatever icon you chose is going to look in a folder. And if there's a word TeamViewer, like uh, we're actually in Sati Mono, so I should go to Sati Mono, Scalable, Applications, and somewhere down the line, Team Viewer. This is the, the icon it found, and this is the icon it supplies now as menu as well. There you go. You can start the thing and put it at the top in your plank, and you have a beautiful non-broken element and variety has given me another wallpaper again so alt t is a shortcut i've made to trash the things i don't like so i end up with for instance this so that's the movie about uh, changing the icons if icons are not following and the hard-coded icons how to get rid of it manually you can do it and you need to do it via script